we would like to create a learning poster with the following visual material to illustrate the physical basics of the topic structure of the x-ray tube we make a picture if we connect a light bulb to an electric circuit and switch on the current an electric current flows between two electric poles the negative pole cathode and the positive pole anode the electric current always flows from the cathode to the anode electric current is the flow of electric charges or the movement of electrons from the very very thin filament of the light bulb some electrons leave the filament. This is visible to us as visible warm white light. The current strength of the electric current is determined by the quantity of electrons. If the current strength is increased, the quantity of electrons is increased, measured in milliampere. The voltage of the electric current is the cause of the electric current. That means for the flow of electrons, if the voltage is increased, the speed of the electrons is increased, measured in volt. Now let's look at the X-ray tube. At a very, very high voltage, some electrons leave the filament of the cathode in the X-ray tube, then collide with the anode, and X-rays are produced. This happens at a voltage of 10,000 volts or more, which is 10 kilovolt or kV. This means for an X-ray machine in the dental practice, if the voltage is increased, the electrons become faster, the X-rays become harder, and the penetration of the tissue by the X-rays is increased. To sum up, radiation is created by the conversion of energy. Electric current, the movement of electrons, is converted into radiation, into visible light or into X-rays.